Good day viewers, today we are going to be discussing proximal femoral fractures. We are going to be discussing it under the headlines Definition of proximal femoral fractures, the epidemiology of proximal femoral fractures, pathology of proximal femoral fractures, the treatment of proximal femoral fractures, presentation of proximal femoral fractures, and then the complication of you know poor treatment of proximal femoral fractures. Before we dive right into the discussion of proximal femoral fractures, my name is Dr. Uchechiku Oduli and this is Online Clinics. Online Clinics is a YouTube channel that provides or offers video discussion on different diseases and how you can prevent them. We also do different video discussion for academics that are useful for medical students and practicing medical doctors. So let's dive right in into our discussion of prosumal femoral fractures. Prosumal femoral fractures are a heterogeneous group of fractures that occurs within or in the hip and around the hip. Now, to understand properly the proximal femoral fractures, the different types, you know, you have to understand the anatomy of the femur. So we dive right into breakdown of the anatomy of the femur. The femur is a long bone that continues, that starts from the top and down to the knee joint. It begins from the femoral head that fits into the acetabulum. Now you have the femoral head, then below the femoral head is the femoral neck. The femoral neck continues from the femoral head to the truncanteric crest. The truncanteric crest is just a ridge that occurs between the greater truncanter and the lesser trochanter. So the trochanteric crest continues down as the you know proximal femoral shaft. Now proximal femoral shaft continues down to get to the knee joint. This is just a brief um, anatomy of you know proximal femoral. Now the name of you know proximal femoral fracture is based on where it is occurring within the proximal femoral. But we can divide proximal femoral fractures into two, into two groups. One, the intracapsular proximal femoral fractures and the extracapsular proximal femoral fractures. The capsule is attached just media to the intertrochanteric crest. Now, every fracture that occurs within the femoral media or just before the intertrochanteric crest is regarded as intracapsular femoral fracture. Why fractures that occurs beneath from the intertrochanteric crest and beneath the intertrochanteric crest are regarded as extracapsular femoral fractures. Now, femoral fractures are named based on where they occur within the femur. Now, fractures that occur within the femoral head is called femoral head fracture and femoral head fracture is also an intracapsular fracture. Fracture that occurs just beneath the femoral head is called subcapital femoral fracture and subcapital femoral fracture is also an intracapsular fracture. Fracture occurring within or along the femoral neck is called transcervical femoral neck fracture. Transcervical femoral neck fracture is also an intracapsular fracture. Fracture can also occur along the ridge, intertrochanteric ridge or intertrochanteric crest. The any fracture that occurs along the length or line of the ridge is called intertrochanteric fracture. Intertrochanteric fracture is an extracapsular fracture. We have the greater trochanter. The greater trochanter can also have a fracture that is called fracture of the greater trochanter. You also have the lesser trochanter. Fracture of the lesser trochanter is called lesser trochanter fracture. Then you can have a fracture just beneath the intertrochanteric ridge, some length or inch below the intertrochanteric ridge. Such fracture is called subtrochanteric fracture. And these are the different types of proximal femoral fractures and their classes, whether it is intracapsular or extracapsular. 
What is the epidemiology of proximal femoral fractures? It occurs more commonly in elderly people as a result of you know osteoporotic changes, senile osteoporotic changes. So they have you know low energy osteoporotic fractures. Elderly people who are suffering from hypertension diseases would most likely be predisposed to proximal femoral fractures. Now, young people can also be exposed or predisposed to proximal femoral fracture as a result of high energy impact trauma, such as fall from heights or road traffic accidents. This is just the epidemiology of proximal femoral fracture. How can they present? People who have proximal femoral fracture can present with complaints of pain in the hip, either pain in the hip or shortening of the leg and external rotation of the leg. They can also have problem of inability to bear body weight. These are the three major complaints of people who have proximal femoral fractures. Now, what is the prognosis of proximal femoral fractures? 10% of people who have proximal femoral fractures will die within one month. Why 33% of people who have proximal femoral fractures could die within 12 months? Then people who are poorly treated, people who have proximal femoral fracture and did not get the proper treatment can develop a complication called AVN. The full meaning of AVN is avascular necrosis of the femoral head. Treatment for proximal femoral fractures is surgical and the surgery is called hemiatroplasty. Thank you for watching. My name is Dr. Uche Chikodili. This is Online Clinics. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos. Don't forget to also click the like button. If you have any question, please feel free to ask in the comment section and we will always attend to you. Thank you for watching.